and welcome to your gold market update for today monday the 27th of june we hope you had a great weekend mike smith senior analyst go markets here let's have a look at what's coming across the news of course on friday we saw a very strong session in wall street we saw broad-based rally to close the week higher with some suggestion that there may be many stocks now oversold of course we have got us earnings kicking off mid-july where we'll get the true valuations of stocks to see how accurate that is and of course we've got many data points to before then of course u.s futures however are lower in asia and asian indices are ignoring that so far following the strong u.s lead the asx is up around 1.6 percent european futures are also pointing to a positive open this afternoon at this stage u.s dollar index traded slightly lower and is testing support and gold is holding on to the important 1835 level Oil is still trading just above 110 after a softer week. And we're seeing some rebounding copper after the worst week for many months for the king of base metals. VIX is also trading below 30, around about 29 at this stage in the day. Bitcoin managed to hold 20,000 support towards the back end of the week and is currently trading around 21,000, but is slightly weaker in the Asian session today. On the economic data front, we've got the German banking report and in the US, we've got durable goods and housing data. The data highlights later on today. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. I'm going to start with the Kiwi Yen. You can see there a failure once again to break resistance at 85.65 in Friday's trading. We've seen some Yen strength this morning and we are trading towards the lows of the session on this pair. If we just have a look at a shorter time frame chart, uh, you can see there quite a significant sell off. What we're watching here is we've already had one test of this key level at around about 84.94 this morning. We had a little bit of a profit taking bounce on the last candle. The current candle is showing weakness again, but we'll wait for a break of that pivot low. And then there's a potential move technically down around 50 pips to that 84.28 level. On the ASX, as we've already intimated, a broad-based rally. Brickworks are one of our charts of the day last week. We just thought we'd follow up on that. And you can see now they've closed the gap back up now to 18.92 and up around this 5% mark from where we referenced this stock last week. Could be a further move higher up towards $20 if this buy-in pressure continues. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.